I was having a conversation with my pastor and I say, you know what, if somebody gets a gun and takes a gun out here in church and his intent is to shoot someone, uh, most likely he's going to. It's just how it is. It's going to happen because really it's very, very difficult to be able to say, you know, this guy's about to do this, right? You just can't. I mean, you really, uh, people, some people are crazy and the person that you never expected would be would do that and again you know it's just uh a tactic from the devil and we all know the devil comes to kill and destroy right but again you know are you prepared to face that and a lot of times i hear people here talking the ninjas and a lot of guys say well if this happened to me uh, i'm gonna take my gun and do this and this and that and i totally get that but most likely the enemy or the bad guy has an advantage over you so i'm kind of going to talk about that for a quick second. Core Cinch is one of the best gun belts in the market for concealed carry. It has a hidden track that allows you 40 plus sizing points. It gives you the ability to carry a small all the way to a large firearm. And it's backed up with a 30 day money back guarantee. Definitely use Jarhead 6 for 10% off your entire order. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Uh, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post videos. We like to do philosophy videos kind of way or videos like this where we talk about some of the things that are in my brain housing group and you guys give me thoughts down in the comment section below so like i said i was talking to my pastor about this and this was a while ago and we were saying you know what if somebody comes into the church and take a gun most likely it's going to have an advantage i mean he could potentially shoot several people before we can react to that and that's something that we got to keep in mind as concealed carry that you know what the enemy the bad guy the criminal has an advantage over us because he will be picking the time and moment when he's going to commit the attack and we're going to have to react to it and quite frankly many of us are not going to be prepared because you know you have a gun you have your everyday carry, you have a spare magazine, you have your little knife, you have your bell, you know, gun bell, you have your holster, you have everything. You did everything perfect, but at one point, if the bad guy is going to target you, uh, he may find you in a place where you're not really prepared for it because, let's face it, you know, we live our life as, you know, regular people, right? So, again, some of you guys will say, no, I'm always ready for that. No, you're not. Don't, don't lie to yourself. What about if you're in a restaurant eating dinner with your wife and even though you apply common sense, even though you apply, you have your situational awareness, your wife is talking to you. You guys are talking about the kids. Next thing you know, your mind starts wondering and you know what? You may lose that situational awareness or if you don't, you're pretty paranoid, man. You know, when you go grocery shopping and you're walking around in Walmart, right? And then your wife tells you, hey, baby, what do you think about baby wipes? Or you think this or what kind of diaper should I buy for the baby? You're not really thinking about the possibility of somebody doing something to you. I mean, you are prepared, but there's moments in your life when you are not 100% ready. You're not walking around like at the ready, you know, you're, not, you're just not doing that. You're living your life. And you know what? It's totally okay because if you hang around paranoia all day long, you're just not going to have a life. So really the bad guy is going to pick when and how and most likely we're just going to have to react to the situation. That's the whole point. We're going to have to react. You know, in, in some situation where a concealed carry has stopped a bad guy, mainly it's because the, the bad guy is targeting somebody else. You happen to be a witness or you happen to be there and you could react again to his situation. So we got to keep this in mind. If something happened, there's a large possibility that we may go down. It's just how it goes. So that's why we talk about things like your wife carrying as well. So your wife could react to that situation or, you know, hanging around with people that have the same type of mindset. So someone could react to that situation because again, you know, you could be as prepared as you want or as prepared as you can, but there is a possibility that even you are prepared completely, it's just not going to go the way you want to. And you know what? We saw that in the military i mean the marine says adapt and overcome right adapt to any situation and overcome it so you have to have that type of mentality i am ready i'm a concealed carry i'm a law-abiding citizen i have the tools necessary to be able to face a situation and i'm going to adapt to whatever situation comes to me right because i'm not the one initiating the attack 
The bad guy is. I don't know when it's going to be. I don't know when it's going to take place. But I have to be willing to make a decision very, very quickly and adapt to that situation that is happening right there, right? It's not going to be, I'm not going to be able to pick the time and day that it's going to happen. I have to be open to be able to react, think fast, and all that stuff. That's why when we talk about training and we're talking about being informed is so critical because you have to be able to conduct that critical thinking, right? You have to be able to change your mindset, adapt, and change that in seconds. It's going to be very, very, very fast. So, you know, sometimes I see the ninjas here talking about, well, somebody takes a gun, I shoot him. It's not going to be as simple as that. Really, it's not. You know, a, a confrontation, you know, an attack, or being in attacks in the past with the enemy, really, it is going to be uh, a horrific situation, a situation where it's going to be pretty impacting, a situation where you're not going to have control of some of the things and you're going to have to react very, very quickly. And unfortunately, that's just how it goes and it's just a sad thing, right? So here's what I do, guys. I always like to let you... Uh, uh, with with a positive thought in a way. You know what I do, guys? I live my life. I'm I'm I don't hang around paranoid. I've been called paranoid multiple times. Last week, like three times. I live my life very very calm and just like anybody else. You know, I wear my tactical basketball short, my tactical sandals. You know, if you see me with my hat, this is not a YouTube thing. I wear my hat outside when I'm going out with my family, right? So I live my life regularly. I carry my gun in case something happened, I'm ready. I pray a lot. I pray for the protection of the Lord because ultimately he is in control. I don't say God is in control because I'm faking it. I say it because I believe it, right? So he's in control. So if I find myself in a situation, pray the good Lord that I never do. But if I find myself in a situation, I pray the good Lord who gave me a sign so I could be ready or, or, you know, teach me or show me or do something so I could be ready to face that, right? So, again, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to live your life regular. You got to go to groceries. You got to go shopping. You just got to have your life. Don't be paranoid about that. You're going to have to have your gun and all that good stuff. And if a situation happens, you're going to have to be quickly, quickly, you're going to have to adapt and try to overcome that situation so you and your family can survive that situation again. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.